Hey, LJ Nostalgio back at you with a Here Be Monster B video. Gonna be rocking the Peon Clover. Now, my last video was Town Hall Level 7, which lets you build this Peon Clover design. However, when you go to Town Hall 8, you can see my Town Hall levels right here. This is Town Hall 8. You do get 10 more walls, and you should take those walls and just extend these little clovers. These are clover petals. So you want to extend the petal, in my opinion. That makes the heroes walk a little bit more. Your vaults will tank for you. All right, once you get higher level towers, you're gonna to wanna to put those there. But until then, you'll wanna do this. Extend these down, and then I like to just level this little piece right here. You can keep it black too if you want, but we'll just level that up to the brown color. Just to give it a little cosmetic flair, if you will. There right here. I am not yet at 5,000 might. That's a milestone because that then allows you to start doing expeditions. See, this unlocks at 5,000 might. And let's go ahead and kick off Here Be Monster B, Here Be Monster Challenge B, and we'll see how the base does. So these troops right here are coming in. What's nice, once you get by Here Be Monster A, these troops are like level seven, right? These heroes are level seven that come in, and sometimes it takes them a while to clear all these buildings. What's nice about B is that it should be pretty easy to get through the this wave here. Those heroes should have no problems clearing all those buildings, which then let all the future waves come straight in at you. Get, come straight in and then be pathed around the clover leaves, okay? So again, I call this the peon clover base. It is basically a peon's version, a dirty version of the death clover base. The Death Clover base is a base you can use for higher level Here Be Monsters. And we'll be talking about that base and other bases in future Here Be Monster videos. So I will be doing all Here Be Monsters in this account. This is my free-to-play account. This is Tagio, T-A-G-G-I-O. If you do want to see this account, you want to just look at where it's at as of the present time, feel free to do a search on Guild Dirty. That is where I put all of my sort of learning accounts. This is the Guild Leader account of Guild Dirty. That's Tajio. So you can see here that Wave B2 came in on the Town Hall, cleared it out right away. That causes this path to hit that Clover Petal, get routed around. That allows that wave to come in a little differently comes allowed to come in and then pass towards me all my heroes then activate and then attempt to take out the wave now in the good old days of castle clash oh oh no look at that dryad that dirty dryad sorry now we want a wave to come in on the east side so that druid can proc and then heal ninja Ninja is a high risk hero to be using in here be monsters in my opinion normally i wouldn't use it i just don't really have anything better i, I could use uh succubus i suppose right but yeah let's not go there quite yet or i could use paladin to tank so again my cupid just procced there giving everyone a little energy i don't have a lot of shards but it's going to be nice to have this here be monsters cleared because then i can sweep it or i can try for here be monster c as well this base definitely works on here be monster a b and c and probably even farther but that's where i'd recommend it is perfect for it's perfect for a new account trying to beat here be monster a b and for sure b it's really perfect for b town hall level eight and again i leveled my heroes to 50 before i even tried here be monster b so let's make this easy on ourselves give us the most advantage possible and uh, we'll be okay we'll be okay it's going to be very hard for that wave to clear those center bases without coming through obviously all my heroes so here comes the level 20 dino of doom and destruction and we are going to try and get him gone he walks the fastest comes in first lets my hero build some momentum and you can see dread drake there all those little troops right there are what are hitting him but again, Druid should have no problem. And it looks like, yeah, he has got Revive on him. So that'll be a nice, easy win. I do have Cupid against Frostwitch, but that was no match. That's a uh, nice 15 shards. Now we can start farming shards and we can start leveling up the abilities of our heroes. We could uh, also start to farm enough shards to be able to purchase the next one we need which is a good question what do you think is the next appropriate hero for this account 
I have Druid, Ninja, Thunder God, Cupid, Dread Drake, Succubus, and Paladin. I'm just referring to legendaries. Higher with Shards Legend, <coughs> we have a few choices. These are the choices. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on what hero you think is the most appropriate to purchase next. So please like, subscribe, and comment below. As always, keep it dirty and dirty up.